What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Elgu Mercury 2 Wash and Cure Station. I am very excited to be talking to you guys about this today. Really not a whole lot to cover with it, but I think it's a great, an absolutely great addition to your resin 3D printer lineup, especially when it comes to being able to more easily wash and cure your prints. Thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters, I was able to pick this up off of Amazon for about 120 bucks. Today what I wanna do is cover some of the basics of the unit, give you my thoughts on the machine, as well as show you some of the results from a few of my tests that I've run with the washing and curing using denatured alcohol, not dentured alcohol, and Mean Green, which is my most common cleaning product that I use in my big, huge ultrasonic cleaner. And I wanted to see how that would work in this particular unit. As you can see, the Mercury 2 is not large. It's really designed for the Elgu Mars and the Elgu Mars Pro. More than likely, it's gonna work with some of the other smaller resin 3D printers as well. However, with that specific build plate design from the Mars, that's what it's really specifically designed for, especially when it comes to this little metal attachment here that you can decide if you wanna use or if you don't wanna use when it comes time to washing and curing your prints. So obviously you're gonna get the unit, you're gonna get a power cord as well. Uh, you're gonna get this acrylic panel as well that'll help block out any of the UV light. My print that I have here, this Black Panther print that I printed and cured with this unit during my 4K Sonic Mini video. If you haven't already seen that, I'll have a link up here in the corner where you can check that out. Make sure you do, it's a pretty sweet, sweet printer. But that print was actually sitting on this acrylic Lazy Susan, it's magnetically, there's a metal panel here. I'm assuming there's some sort of a big magnet here in the base that this attaches to. And then when I wanna actually cure, I put the top back on, flip it over to the cure settings, hit the how long I want it to cure for, and it's gonna spin around, turn on the lights, and actually cure your print. And it works really, really well. I have no idea what the strength is of these lights that are in here. It seems pretty intense because only two to three minutes is about as much as I need for any of my prints to be fully cured with this particular unit. So that Lazy Susan is really there for the curing process. When it comes to actually cleaning, you're gonna be using this plastic container. It also has a sealable top. There's a little uh, seal here, mechanism here to keep everything nice and airtight. So if it drops or spills over, it's not gonna accidentally pour out. There's also what you'll see here is a little spinning mechanism here. This is what's gonna help create some of the friction as it's actually cleaning your prints while you have this filled up with liquid. It sits on top of here. You can then decide to use this metal bracket that I was talking about here a second ago, where if you have an Elegoo Mars, it will hook in to the build plate like so, and then I can attach it at the top here. I can drop it into the cleaning container. There's also some metal bolts on the side, so if you wanted to adjust how far this actually sits in, if you only wanted to go at the very top, you can do that. For the most part, I have not been cleaning with the full build plate on there. Not to mention, again, if you have larger build plates like the Elegoo Saturn, it's not going to fit in here. However, some of your prints, depending on their size, definitely will fit inside that container. So if you don't wanna use that metal bracket and the full build plate, they do supply you with this metal basket. This is what I've been primarily using. So I'll put my prints directly in the basket, fill this up with the cleaning product that I like to use, stick it in here, put the top on, make sure it's on the wash settings, adjust the timing, and hit go. And it's as easy as that. And when the print's done, pull out the basket, take your prints out, let them hit sit here to dry. It's really, really straightforward and easy to use. I honestly think this is a great addition for anybody that's out there looking for a better way to more easily clean and cure your prints. There are also some fail safes that they built into this as well to prevent you from accidentally maybe spilling something or running the UV lights without this protective cover on. Basically, you can't run any of the washing or curing without this panel on top of it. So if you don't have this big acrylic piece on here, I'm assuming it's weight driven and it's not gonna recognize any of the functions that you're pressing in here until you put the cover on. Actually, initially when I got this all unboxed and set up, I thought my unit was broken. No, no, just need to put the cover on and it's good to go once the cover's on. One thing that I've got to look into is if they're gonna be offering additional of these plastic containers and tops. I am a little nervous of how long the, uh, the top here will last, especially the snaps that are on there. 
if I'm continually using this, snapping it closed, unsnapping it, eventually these are gonna wear out and I'm gonna wanna replace it. Additionally, I wouldn't mind having one or two additional of these plastic containers filled with different cleaning products so that I can easily swap them out if I want to, depending on the print that I'm working with, or maybe I'm interested in filling one of these with water and curing with water at the same time. Aside from some of the prints that I ran on the Frozen Sonic Mini 4K, I did run off and print directly on the Elgu Mars here, this my Mini Factory edition. This is the Creature Armory's miniature, and I, this printed great, first of all, it's in Seertech Fast Green, which I really need to buy more of this. I forgot how amazing it looks, and it almost glows neon under those UV lights. Uh, this, again, cured really quickly. It cleaned really easily. I cleaned it in the denatured alcohol. That stuff works absolutely great on the unit here. I run it for about two minutes, two to three minutes tops, and then take it out and let it dry, and it's pretty much ready to go in terms of curing. One fun test that I ran off and did on this is using Mean Green versus Denatured Alcohol. Obviously, the Denatured is gonna look better. It visually just isn't as tacky. It's not as wet and slick looking as what I've run with the Mean Green. But I think the Mean Green still cleaned really nicely here in this particular unit. Maybe even better so than my ultrasonic cleaner that I'm typically running in, plus my ultrasonic cleaner. I feel like I have to let that run for a very long time for it to thoroughly clean. Whereas this, it was maybe three to four minutes that I let it run in this unit and before I let it dry out and then cured it in the actual station here. The other thing to consider about using Mean Green as a cleaning product is if you're just planning on painting it, who cares? Because as soon as it's cured and you put down some primer over this and start painting, you'll never notice that at all. So all in all, this is a great little machine. I'm hoping Elegoo decides to make a larger version of this that's gonna support the Elegoo Saturn. By the way, Anycubic has their own version of this that I believe might be slightly smaller than this. It's designed to work with the Photon as well. Uh, the only reason why I bought this one over that one was honestly because of the price. I was able to pick this up for 120 and at the time that I purchased this, the Anycubic was I think 150 or so. It's now only, at a, I think it's on sale for 130 at this point on Amazon. And again, thank you to all my Patreon members for your support. I couldn't do this without your help. If you're interested in finding out more about my Patreon, you can find links down below. Hey, thanks so much for watching you guys and let me know in the comments what you think about the Wash and Cure Station and if you'd like to see a bigger one of these in the future. Fingers crossed, Elgu's already working on it. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.